Hey everybody, it's Ruby here today, and today I wanted to do the much forthcoming video of showing you guys my to be read um, bookshelf or bookcase tour. Um, I had wanted to do some sort of bookshelf tour uh, when I first started YouTube, um, but I noticed that a lot of the books that were on my shelves in the last place were books that um, I inherited or that were sort of given to me when I was quite young, um, when I was interested in different sorts of things. So there was a lot of books on those shelves that I hadn't read or wasn't interested in reading, uh, and so it wasn't quite a good representation of um, the sort of books that I was reading. Um, so now um, the books that I have that I have read aren't up yet um, and we'll see sort of what happens with that anyways um, but for now I do have my to be read bookshelf up and so I thought that I would do a tour for you guys um, it isn't sorted in any sort of fancy way not alphabetical not color coordinated nothing like that just mostly size just because of the way that the bookshelf um, is designed um, so I will just do sort of a quick overview of each book so this is the bookshelf there's the Harry Potter wand so we'll just go from book to book so um, let's go with the most pretentious books first we have um, Fred Frederick Nietzsche's um, Beyond Good and Evil, Philip Pullman's The Amber Spyglass, Ursula Le Guin's The Wind's Twelve Quarters. I have three books from the Introducing Graphic Guide series, Logic, Foucault, and Postmodernism, Red Dragon by Thomas Harris, Catch-22 by Joseph Heller, The Reprieve by Jean-Paul Sartre, the Edible Woman by Margaret Atwood, City of Illusions by Ursula Le Guin, Loves and the Love and the Facts of Life by Evelyn Millis Duval, The Marriage at Art by Johnny Eichenlob, um, Did I Dick by Kurt Vonnegut, um, The Story of Philosophy by Will Durant. Man and His Symbols by Carl Jung. Over here I have the t TBR jar that I filmed a video on last year and I'll have to update that quite a bit. Uh, and then we also have The Red Book by Carl Jung. Uh, on the second shelf we have Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark. Three copies of Wilderness Tips by Margaret Atwood. Harry, A History by Melissa Neely. The Feminine Eye, Science Fiction and the Women Who Write It, edited by Tom Stekar. Voice of the Fire by Alan Moore. A Hundred-Year-Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared by Jonas Jonasson, The God of Small Things by um, Aranhati Roy, IQ84 by Murakami, The Bookseller of Cabal by someone that I'm not even going to try to pronounce, The Plague by Albert Camus, Spire by William Golding, Fifth Business by Robertson Davies, The Dispossessed by Ursula Le Guin, Princess Bride by William Goldman, Bartas by Jonathan Cooler, Understanding Media by Marshall McLuhan, Better Than Life by Grant Naylor, The Last Human by Doug Naylor, and Red Dwarf by Grant Naylor, Life Before Man by Margaret Atwood, the Robber Bride by Margaret Atwood, Surfacing by Margaret Atwood, Jerk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency by Douglas Atwood, Nanasi Boys by Neil Gaiman, House of Leaves by Mark Danielowski, The Call of Stories by Robert Coles, 
Guns, Germs, and Steel by Jared Diamond. The Bed Trick, Tales of Sex and Masquerade by Wendy Doniger. Women, Myth, and the Feminine Principle by Bettina Knapp. A Beautiful Mind by Sylvia Nassar. The Cuckoo's Calling by J.K. Rowling. Of Dutch Ways by, by Helen Colin or Colchin. This Idea Must Die, Scientific Theories That Are Blocking Progress by, edited by John Brockman. The Foucault, Fou, the Foucault Reader, edited by Paul Rabineau. Reckless Journal by Carrie Smith. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. Atlas Grace by Margaret Atwood. On Your Knees by Anne-Marie MacDonald. Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foer. A Primer on Postmodernism by Stanley Grenz. The Cry for Myth by Rollo May. Okay, and then this last shelf is oversized picture books. Most of these are coffee table books, so you don't necessarily have to read them all in one go. Um, but that I haven't read a significant portion of. Um, so those are sort of on my things to read as well. The Society of Mind by Marvin Minsky. The Story of English, How the English Language Conquered the World by, by Philip Gooden. By Philip Gooden. Uh, I have the psychology book and the philosophy book by DK Publishers. And these are basically mini encyclopedias on different major thinkers. The Selected Works of T.S. Spivet by Reef Larson. The Simpsons Futurama Crossover Crisis, because why not? Um, Shapes for Sounds, Why Alphabets Look Like They Do, What Has Happened to Them Since Printing has in Was Invented, Why They Won't Ever Change, and How It Might Have Been by Timothy Donaldson. The D textbook by Cracked Authors. 32nd Psychology, the 50 most thought-provoking psychology theories, each explained in half a minute. Edited by Christian Jarrett. The Creature Vault. The Portable Young, edited by Joseph Campbell, because I like me some young. The Brain That Changes Itself by Norman Deutsch. Second Sex by um, Simon de Beauvoir. Simone de Beauvoir. The illustrated biography of C.G. Young um, by Gerhard Ware. Louis Wayne's Cats by Chris Beatles. And the Wes Anderson Collection by Matt Zoller Seitz with an introduction by Michael Chabon. Chambon. And that's everything for you guys. So um, I hope you found that interesting and it was definitely fun to film. Uh, comment down below if there's any books that you recognize from any previous videos um, or if there's any books that you had read or are interested in reading or if there's any books that you think that I should read right away and do book reviews on. Um, so I will talk to you guys later.